Today, how's this? supposed to be taking that this? out on the Instant Pot, not on your husband. Today, we are making sweet and sour chicken. Okay. Okay. Today, we are making sweet and sour chicken. Is that good enough? Yep. Okay, now, I will tell you the reason why the thumbnail has me fighting the Instant Pot <laughs> is because she can never get it to work and she always blows it up somehow. So I'm just stating the facts. Okay, thanks, Dave is because, Dave, get my phone and get up my picture from yesterday's dinner. Because, as I promised, if I bought an Instant Pot, which I did, I was gonna cook in it for a month every day. Okay, well maybe not every day, but close to every day. And see if I can fall in love with this thing. Okay, so here is last night's dinner. Dave is gonna show you oh, a picture. Let me see. Oh, did you put it on there? <laughs> Here, wait. No, There's I forgot this... to put it on there, but he's going to show on my phone. Wait, hold up. This isn't all the way brightness. Let me try that. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see this. Okay, yeah. Narrate. <laughs> so, that was last night's dinner. Tasted good. <laughs> so, here's what happened. So I was going to make like a broccoli or like a pepper and chicken type sweet and sour type orange type thing, sort of type thing. <laughs> and I got into it and I had semi frozen chicken, which is what I'm using right now. And after 25 minutes, it wasn't cooked. I had it on 25 minutes. For the new night. <laughs> I had it on 25 minutes, and Dave, get over there, Monterey. Okay. And um, <laughs> the chicken was three quarters raw in the middle. Your mom was asking, is that black burnt stuff? That is black burnt stuff. So after the chicken was raw, I put in another 25 minutes, and the chicken finally got cooked, and I was able to shred it. So then I put in my sauce, which was like cornstarch and orange flavoring. I didn't even have orange juice. <laughs> cornstarch and orange flavoring. <laughs> and I don't know what I threw in there, but it, I put it in there on saute to cook it and get it going. And then it burned. And it was nasty. So then I rinsed all the sauce off. <laughs> We should have recorded yesterday cooking with it. It's so, funny because by the time I saw it, it looked great. So we rinsed all the sauce off, she and did. I just dumped some barbecue sauce on it. Picked out the peppers and the celery, which was still raw. And because everybody said, don't put your vegetables in there because they get too cooked. So that's what I did. There was no we. It was just her. <laughs> we didn't do any so of that. So I picked out the chicken pieces and just threw some barbecue sauce with rice on it. And that's what happened. So, I'm trying it again. All right, so here we go. So, I have my chicken cube stuff, sort of, that I'm putting in here. I'm cutting up my chicken smaller. I don't know, how long should I cook this for? I have well, no idea. Well, there's an important question here from Two Family Homestead. No, I didn't read the book. She said, did you read the instructions this time? Nope. Tara is not one with instructions. <laughs> I'm telling you, I don't do instructions. Heidi, I just don't do well. That's... Heidi says, I was just gifted a 14 core electric pressure cooker. Can't wait to try after reading the manual. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pay Heidi to read the instructions for me. How's that? And then you can do like a, a Skype thing to demonstrate how to do it. I think so. Okay. So let's see what the Instant Pot recipe booklet says. How long should you cook chicken? What page is that on? Can anybody tell me that? Okay, pressure cooking. Oh, there's too many words here. Okay, let's see. Just nothing but words and pictures. <laughs> Mostly words. <laughs> too many words and pictures. Actually, I think... Okay. I don't, it doesn't just say how much to cook chicken on. See, this is why I hate instructions. You can't just say, cook chicken for 20 minutes on such and such. It doesn't say that. I don't see that anywhere. It's not in here. Seriously. Let's see. 
All right. Babe, when, so. What month were you born? July. Okay. Okay, here. No, that's not what I want. Rice, porridge. I don't know. It's not in here. That's why I don't read the instructions. It's not in there. Okay, now what's this one? Let's see. Starters, main dishes. Here we go. Here's something. Chicken curry, page 25. Chicken curry. So what do we got? Close and lock the lid. Three minutes of cooking? Is that all? After you saute it? Okay, wow. that can't possibly be right. So we'll just go with whatever. I would I'm just go do. with what the instructions say. Yeah, here. but it's sauteing, and Patty told me to put water in here and put this little griddle thing on and do it that way. Okay, so if you want to know how to cook instant pot recipes, go to my friends Alderman Farms. Get the link right there, dear. And Patty has. An instant pot cookbook, which I probably should have opened up and read before I did the show, but I didn't. Okay, now what is happening? Okay, sorry. Why is the lid not <coughs> on? Uh, oh, and there's the freezer. No, well, Dave, go see if it is for this. I'm sure it is. Okay, so the freezer guy is now here. Okay. You should at least got the lid on. <laughs> Yes, just pull it out and put it in. I measured it should just fit in the same spot. I ordered a freezer online without even looking at it. Uh-oh. I know. I'm living dangerously. So. Our old one is decomposing. Our old one is as old as Dave and it's falling apart. Okay, pressure cook. How? I only ordered one freezer. They brought two freezers. I did not order two freezers. Okay. Well, I'm on a live cooking show. You want to come and give away a freezer? <laughs> yeah, the first one it says, no, I was just kidding. Um, so he has a 17 foot and a 14 foot. No. Which one is it? Mine was 17. Okay. No, Our, he, he's okay with only one. Okay, do which this. One is the one. I don't know. Do this. Measure the freezer out there, and it's the same measurements that I was supposed to get. Okay. So it would just slide in. Okay, so they have two freezers, a 14-foot and a 17-foot. But? But I only ordered one freezer, but I don't remember which freezer I ordered. So be careful. This thing is on. All right, let's see what we got here. If I can find my home... Depot email. Wait, what do you need? I was looking for something. Okay. I don't know where my order went. Okay. All right, let's see. Did you get Patty's ebook? Oh, guys, this is like about as chaos and bedlam as it can get. Okay, here is Patty's ebook. Go buy her Instant Pot ebook. Don't listen to me because I don't know what I'm doing. So what I'm doing is I'm making Diane and I cookbook, sweet and sour chicken right here, which by the way is on sale 25% off and sh free shipping, free shipping, 25% off and free shipping. Um, and we are making the sweet and sour sauce on page 315. And okay, there's the book. And I am cooking the chicken in my Instant Pot, trying to get this thing to work. Oh, well, and, now you and okay, so the little thing's not turned. Hang on a second. Um, where did you place this one? On the internet? Yeah. Yep. Sorry, guys. It. Oh, have mercy. You should have told them not to. Well, I didn't. That's fine. I didn't know. I thought they were coming at 8 o'clock in the morning, not 5 o'clock at night. Okay, my account, let me see. I don't even know if I have a, I don't know how I ordered. I need a personal assistant. He thinks that this might be the 14 inch To take care of all this for me. Cubic foot, but. Um, nope, I don't have an account. Did they not send you an email? 
I'm gonna go look yeah, at that. but in the 500 emails, where is it? This is life at the Kellen family, guys. Show, I'll take a look up here. Which okay. Which email did you use, editor? I don't even know which email I used. Can I show my cool Probably document? my Gmail. I'm trying to do everything personal on Gmail, but it's not working out very well. Ow. Okay. Oh, so. Can I start again? Okay, so what I'm doing is. Did you put in a cup of liquid, lady? Like, I put in the liquid and I put in my chicken that was three quarters thawed, a little bit frozen. I, I like it slightly frozen so that it um, can cut easier. How did I order two? So do you want the big one or the little one? Oh, you the, gotta be kidding me. Price. For the same price, keep the big one. All right, if there's the same price, just keep the Wait, big one. It doesn't say frost free, and this one does. No, the frost free one is the one I want. Okay. There you go. Ask him if the big one's frost free. I'll keep that one. If not, okay, I just ordered two freezers. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Your reaction. Okay, we are moving to Rochester, Minnesota. So that we can be near Heidi. Heidi lives in Minnesota. Rochester has the Mayo Clinic. Heidi lives in an area nearby. So what we're going to do is we're going to move there. And she is going to be my personal assistant and just following me around all day long and take care of everything I need taken well, care I'm of. I'm taking screenshots. What's the matter? I'm not moving to... You don't want to move Minnesota. to Minnesota? No, I'm staying in Colorado. <gasps> so if it's BJ expression. stays in Colorado, you'll just move in with him, and I'll come visit you. I do not. I don't want you guys to move to Minnesota. You don't. You would miss the us. The expression yes, is the best. Yes, I do not want you guys to move. I don't want us to move to Minnesota. <sighs> Should we do this tomorrow? <laughs> Again, okay, so can can we refund it? I'm not even asking that. Freezer giveaway. Okay, it's two guys who are like 18 years old, and I don't think they even know what they're doing either. And on top of that, I messed up and bought two freezers instead of one. I have no idea how I did that. And you also got two different measurements somehow. <sighs> yeah, how'd you get that? Okay, so right now I'm waiting for this thing to come to pressure. Oh my goodness. I'm going to eat my artichoke on show. Relax, everyone. All right. Enjoy. So, we're waiting for this to come to pressure. Is it hot? New show stars, Dave. Is this thing even on? It says on. What? You finished all your cherry cider? Yeah. Wow. I don't think you're going to feel it. Does the hot. side get hot if it's on? I don't think it does. Oh, I can't see the comments. So. Okay, go, we'll get... Get your buns over there and moderate. I wanted to help. Well, you're not helping on this side. Okay, can somebody tell me if this thing gets hot? Oh, what a day. Uh, Jax, Are you enjoying Jax your cider? Moonshine. Yum. <laughs> Who else besides me likes cherry cider? Okay, let's see. Does this thing get hot on the sides if it's doing something? Let's read important safeguards, shall we? Out of Goshen's on. Out of Goshen, help me. You guys I need get help. Over here. I need help. Does your instant pot get hot on the side when you turn it on? Do I don't know if this is working. Did you push any of the buttons? It says on. Here, this is what it says. Right here. I don't. Okay, here we go. Somebody show, tell. So. Okay, somebody tell me if that's right. Okay, currently it says on. Sorry for the flashing. That's just the camera. It says, "Do not touch hot surfaces of the pressure cooker, but nothing is hot." It's the that. Wait, that gets is it right. locked? Yeah, you just unlocked it. Wait, is it locked? Oh, have mercy on my soul. You, you just turn it off. Okay. Pressure cook. Now it's not even turning on. Now it's on. It says off. Let's stop for today. 
Jack gets the thing plugged in. So, so my start goodness. with, in today's yes, show, it is plugged make in. Oh, well, that's not plugged in. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, this is where Tara starts losing her patience. I could have had dinner made by now. Okay, here we go. Now we're doing something. Okay, do you think 15 minutes is long enough to cook the chicken? I think so. I can't, I can't find where it says just how much to cook your chicken for. Okay, now it's doing something. It's bleeping. Okay, I think the plug was not all the way plugged it in. It wasn't sealed either. Okay, that is all right. You didn't have it sealed. I didn't have it sealed. Do yeah, I have I it sealed now? Sealed it, yeah. Okay, thank so you, Dave. All right, what are you doing? Oh, Jack's Google. <laughs> Jack's Googling it. <laughs> Jack Googled is 15 minutes able to cook instant pot chicken. Okay, Jack. <laughs> oh my goodness, you just one up to mom. Okay. Uh, so, here we go. All right, out of Goshen has never had it get hot. All right, it gets hot when you set it to a time and cook something. Okay, so we know that. So don't touch this, this is super hot, okay? Dave, let him have one leaf, please, just one. Okay. Jack is drinking his cider, but he thinks it's cool just drinking it out of wine no, glass, it's, which it's I don't moonshine. drink. It is not. Which I do not <laughs> drink, by the way. We just use them for our fancy ciders that we love. Okay. Yeah, Wendy, I am thinking about throwing it out the window. <laughs> okay. So, guys, don't follow my instructions. Follow my friend Patty at Alderman Farms. I'm not getting paid to say this. She really does have a good ebook. I, for one, though, got so wrapped up in getting haircuts and working on stuff today, I forgot to read her ebook beforehand. It is super good. Okay, I have liquid in here. Liquid was already in here, I had already poured it in there. So that is done. Join us tomorrow to watch Dad whack his phone at the sled chamber. That'll be fun. Okay, um, so. Are you gonna get rid of that thing then? If it's not, it says, it's getting hot. So here's the thing guys, I kind of skimmed through the directions, but it doesn't really say what to do in here. I mean, does it? Am I like just missing something? It just says, turn it on, add liquid and put your food in, but it doesn't say how long to cook chicken or how long to cook a roast. Hey, what's this for? Maybe I'm, miss maybe I'm missing some instructions because it was from a garage sale. Okay, maybe that's the problem. Okay, so here's the instructions that she gave me, and she said she used it once. Is there something else that's supposed to come with it? Can you guys see this is all she gave me? Am I missing a book of instructions, maybe? Good job, it needs to check. Hmm. You don't have a giant hmm. recipe book. No, I good. don't know. Okay, let me look up. I have Patty Alderman's uh instant pot book on my computer let me look it up here okay so we're trying to make for those of you just joining us diana dime cookbook sweet and sour chicken on page 315. it is free shipping and 25 percent off so what i'm trying to do is cook my chicken in the instant pot it's not getting Wait. hot yet cook Wait. my chicken in the instant pot and use my sweet and sour sauce on page 315. that's what i'm trying to do google said to press manual Oh, it is getting warm. Ah. Oh, okay. Warm. I don't know where Patty's book. I can't Here. find it on my computer. So after we assumed that that was the right one and we took it all out, now it looks like it's smaller than the other one. Do you want to go see? Oh my goodness. On your computer one says frost free. I um, want the frost free one. Which one's frost free? Well, look. 14 one says it's frost free for sure. I think I was getting the 17 frost free, but if that's not what I ordered, well, the 17 I really doesn't up. say whether it's frost free or not on your invoice, and unless we want to take everybody on an expedition on the show. Okay. I don't know so, how to find out if that one's frost free. Let's go to HomeDepot.com. Apparently, I got the wrong. <laughs> I got the wrong freezer. See, that's what I get for ordering it online. I thought I'd save myself some time. 
What you got Order it online. Dear. <laughs> it doesn't say if it's frost free on here. And the other one doesn't either though. Conveniently. Conveniently. Use a drain to can friendly remove water during defrosting. Okay, so this is not the frost free one. Okay, the other one is a little smaller. How little smaller? Like a okay. Stand here for just a minute. Okay. Hey everyone, welcome to the Mike Show. We're gonna start over today. <laughs> just kidding. Ellen says you don't want a frost free freezer. Well, our last one was frost free, but she doesn't like to have to defrost them. Um, and we never had to defrost the one that we that we're getting rid of. We'd like to keep it, but it's it's having a compressor where it just randomly starts screaming. And so uh, so we thought maybe we better get a new one before the other one fails. I actually tried to fix it, but they made it impossible to get to the part. So, ooh, is this, this says on and pressure cook. So I don't know what mom did, but I'm thinking it's on the right. She Googled it. So anyway, as far as the freezer, I just decided to send her out there and check. But she apparently unintentionally ordered two different freezers. <laughs> and they were going to deliver them both. So, we'll see. So... <laughs> Hello, Rhonda. Thank you. Um, sorry, guys. Tar will be back in just a minute. So, I can't remember the song I used to sing. Oh, it was the dun 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 it's actually starting to make a little noise, and I oh. can. There's a little bit of, like, tiny bits of steam. Dave, oh, I don't know. If you guys can probably see this right here, and I don't think it's already. venting. So I'm thinking this is a good sign. It looks like it's coming. Is it supposed to be venting? <laughs> yes, Susan. This is a blooper show. Over here, hey Jack Stan. Oh, it's just funny how it started a little late. Hi, it's Christine. It's venting right there. You can see it. Um, I thought that mom oh, yes. didn't want it to be vented. Yeah, we should lock the door while Mike reads the instructions. Oh, except I don't know what mom's done already. Although I think it's actually sealing. Um, mom's, guess what? What? She's returning both of them. What? <laughs> no way. Um, there's a little, the little steam valve had just a tiny little bit coming out, and it just made some kind of a noise, and now there's no steam coming out of it anymore. And it says on, pressure cook normal. So I'm thinking this is a good sign. So from what I've heard before, I am expecting... I thought it was supposed to say how many minutes it's doing. Well, I think it has to get up to pressure first. Um... And then it'll say how many. <laughs> this... <laughs> Thank you, Deanne. This is my favorite episode of your show. Okay, so a little secret of Mike that you guys might have noticed if you saw the beginning is <laughs> when Mike was trying to get the show on. Um, it's, I don't cope so well when things... <laughs> are completely off the rails. <laughs> That's why Tara and I are good together, I guess. Yes, I think that is, it's coming to pressure. And I think any minute now I'm expecting to see uh, the time countdown on it. So yes, Brenda, the steam valve, I think is close. It says uh, ceiling. So that's ceiling. good. So yes. ceiling and venting were the two choices. So the valve on top will be flush with the lid when it comes up to pressure, okay? Well, it looks like it might have a little bit longer to go then. And when it comes up to pressure, for some reason, I don't know why, but whenever you like close, so, a, close a drawer or something, then it sprays up steam. Vegetables, meat, poultry, pork. Let's see what... So, Mom, do you know what kind of chicken... Oh, Mom put in some chicken breast pieces. Cooking time, six to eight minutes. Wow. <laughs> but that's once it comes up to pressure. Mm-hmm. Okay. You know it, girl. You may want to brown the meat by selecting saute. Uh, you should probably skip that part. <laughs> yeah, I'm usually the one that builds things at Christmas because I <laughs> read the directions. What's funny is I like words directions and not picture directions. Yeah, it looks like it says six to eight minutes, but I think that's once it gets up to speed. There's tons of recipes in here, but oh, you know what? There's Really, this is only a recipe book. Oh, that's why she can't figure it out. Oh, well. So anyway, all right, let me see what kind of comments we have before I read anymore. Still happy in times of trouble. Well, yes and no. <laughs> I mean, 
now that uh, the show is on, I'm feeling good about that, but... Oh, thank you, Wendy. Wendy says, no worries, don't stress, we're just happy to be with you. Yay. This is real life, why you're so relatable. <laughs> we should have taken the camera outside. Uh, I'm getting a new phone tomorrow, and I was wondering if there's some way we could set it up to take it mobile, because at times like this, it'd be great to take the phone out there while Tara's talking to the guys from Home Depot <laughs> about the freezers. So, uh, Tammy, there's no steam coming out anymore. Yes. It came out, and then it kind of slowed down to nothing, and then it made a little more. She refunded both of them. So, now we have a whole pile of food sitting on the garage floor with no freezer. We can go, we can go get some ice in a cooler. <laughs> All Jamie, right. Jamie, do you have room in your freezer? Jack's face probably shouldn't go right over the steam. Oh, did you no, just look over it, No, don't put your face over this. Okay. All right. Thanks, everyone. So, no, it's oh, definitely, oh, okay. It, this, the, the book says for chicken, six to eight minutes, and that's 15 minutes. Is that going to overdo it? What? Here. You just, oh, that's nice. You can just go down. Okay, so we'll so do I it. So I looked here on meat. We'll do it 10. Under chicken. Well, where'd you find that? It's, in the, read it's the at the end of the recipe. <laughs> this, is, this is called a manual. <laughs> and its purpose is... <laughs> just kidding. Um, but, but seriously, I don't know how many you have, but it says six to eight boneless chicken breasts. For oh, how long? No, sorry. It says six to eight minutes for boneless chicken breasts. And, that, and that's boneless chicken breast that you cut up, right? So I would say six to eight minutes. Oh my goodness. Okay. So do you want to turn that down four more minutes? No. Two it's more frozen minutes? though. This would be oh, unfrozen. I so okay. I think we need additional time for being frozen. Okay, so I refused both refrigerators. Yeah, she did. I ordered, totally ordered the wrong thing. Yeah, she did. <laughs> So now I have a pile full of frozen food sitting on my garage floor wrapped in blankets. Yeah, she does. Hoping it doesn't defrost. Jail says time to learn again. <laughs> oh my god. She just conked her head and then the steam valve wow. spit. <laughs> okay, See what so I, mean? I am not a professional. I am not a professional. I can't get slap it. and say get it together people with this thing, can I? Okay. So I'm going to scoot this back over here, oh. and we're going to cut soap Mary for just says, a minute while this is cooking. Mary says I did raw chicken defrosted for defrosted for 15 minutes. It was easily shredded, so maybe I told you too little time. All right. Well, <laughs> here we go. Okay. So I'm going to cut this soap. Enjoying this show that is a life of comedy errors, just like my wife. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> All right, we're back. So they took both freezers back, but they had the old one already loaded on the truck and they said that they could already take it. So they're going to take it and just bring back whatever one we re end up ordering. So I have to end. go to Home Depot at, to the store. It didn't save me any time because now I have to go to the store. And now I have to figure out what to do all this food on the garage floor. Uh, Willow's asking, do we have any coolers we could put food in? We do, although we have I just some neighbors have one, who might. And I have some room in my regular freezer. I don't know if there's enough for all of it. Oh, La Diana says, but the chicken is cut up, so lesser time is likely good too. So we'll just see how okay. it goes. So today I am unmolding my friend Daryl's beautiful mold that I love. I know I keep raving about it, but it is gorgeous, and I'll tell you why. This is why. Take a look. Watch this. Boom! Isn't that glorious? It is glorious. Now what happened? I just think it's funny that when there's disaster, oh more goodness. people are watching. We've had more people on for this show than we have for any show for the last month. Oh, man. Okay, so here we go. Ellen says he read the book. So apparently, <laughs> apparently Sorry to be the timer won't go on until the chicken is actually defrosted. And that's out. Bandana Grandpa said, I think Tara's out. Keep kicking the freezer. I am. Oh my goodness. Oh, I feel bad for those poor delivery guys. They got one totally unloaded off the truck. Cut the box off of it. The everything. guy, although I thought he was like 18, he said he's been doing this eight years. That poor man, dealing with people like me for, or for eight years. I love when you said people like me. <laughs> okay, so here is my creamsicle soap, which smells divine. 
Mmm. Mm. Like fresh. You know the pop-up creamsicle? Now this is in my Etsy store. And it is for pre-orders for to ship in three weeks. Um, <laughs> so we're gonna do that. All right, this is my Essential Depot cutter. We're going with the big guns today because everything's going wrong. So hopefully the cutter will make things right. All right, so I'm just gonna put it on here. Here we go. Woo! Did you hear that clink? Oh, shoot. Look at that. Guess Look at what I didn't bars. do? I didn't clean the bars before I cut it. Oh, well. Creamsicle, guys. Creamsicle? Woo -hoo! Dreamsicle. Oh. Dream. Dream, dream. Oh. Oh, man, that smells so good. Oh, sorry, guys. I missed some of the Instant Pot uh, commentary, although now that it's uh -oh. counting down, I don't think we should mess with it. <laughs> Because there were some people that said maybe we should open it or maybe it wasn't sealing, but I think it was sealing all right and I think it's kind of cooking now. Okay. So. <laughs> <sighs> Look, it isn't that pretty. Mm. <laughs> Teresa says when Mike is murdered on live TV, we will all have to be witnesses. I ain't got time for that. Will you guys come to his funeral? We'll have to live stream your funeral. Tara cracks me up. <laughs> This is not funny, guys. I feel they're laughing at me, and they're not sympathizing with my pain. <laughs> guys, this is real life. Dude. <laughs> they're like, oh, look at the disaster that yeah. happened in my house today. Well, at least we're not them. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, Jamie's on. Oh, man, oh, man. Jamie, what are we going to do to celebrate your birthday? My friend Jamie, we missed her birthday and it's been almost a month. She broke her rib. <gasps> what? Colleen oh, said Instant yeah. Instapot is going to pay you not to promote their product. They, pro they probably will. <laughs> we like a farm subsidy. <laughs> we're having a cooking subsidy. We're just going to pay you to not cook on your show. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's a little too funny. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm guessing there won't be a Living on a Dime Instant Pot cookbook in the future. Well, you know what's funny is I actually had started converting my Crock-Pot cookbook to an Instant Pot cookbook. And then after the last debacle, I was like, forget this. <laughs> and so now I'm trying, poor Patty Alderman, she's not going to want me to, to promote her ebook because, um, because of all my debacles. Here, my, my issues, my issues, my issues. There were suggestions that there are how to use the Instapot videos on YouTube. See, I'm a video kind of a girl. I'm not a, a <clears throat> reading kind of a girl. I am a visual learner. So. Well, that's why you look at the pictures. That's why I need to go back and watch every one of Patty Alderman's Instant Pot recipes. So Mitzi, yes, the truck was here to drop off the freezer, but when we discovered it wasn't what Tara intended to order, they said they would just take it back and then we could go talk to the store about yeah. it. Yeah. So that was nice of them. Actually, they've been really nice at this Home Depot. We had a problem once <clears throat> in the past about something significant and I went in and talked to their highest manager in the store. And they were- Oh, our carpet. They yeah. ended up, they ended up making it all work out great. So. Yeah. Are you guys going tonight then? I don't know. I gotta go. Oh, and then Ellie's car. I'll have to tell you about that. Okay, so guys, here's my lemongrass. Oh, something smells really good now. What is that? It's the lemongrass mm. poppy seed. Did you see Mike's sudden reaction? The Whoa. lemongrass poppy seed. All right. Oh, isn't this one Bonnie's Right kid? here in its own. Isn't this one Bonnie's thing? This is Bonnie's triple butter kit. This, the link will be in the description below. This after one's the, the one that she on. just did in the mold. This is the one I did yesterday. <laughs> Wait, was Get it the suction released. <laughs> I feel like okay, so now let's get this yeah, out and then we'll go to everyone's advice. No, they're just talking about how it's like the Lucy and Ricky show. <laughs> <laughs> All 
Ooh, look at that beautiful oh. loaf of soap. Oh, wait, no, it's just that. Wow. Just, yeah. That smell smells good. really good. This one's for sale, too. Oops, can't do that double. So Ooh. is that an issue right there? So the crack here is only, it's not an issue, and it doesn't hurt anything. The crack is just because no, my soap got a little hot, and so it just made a little crack. It's nothing is a problem or anything like that. So then we just put this baby right here. Boom. Ooh, nice. There's my lemon poppy seed. Ooh, I'm loving it. Nice. Right there. Oh, that turned out <laughs> nice. Well, nice. Deanna says laugh therapy, getting healthier by the minutes. <laughs> there you go. <clears throat> okay, so these are my two soaps I made yesterday. Super, super excited. So, you can buy these on my Etsy store. It's a pre-order. They'll ship in three weeks. Kim says, love the soap. And Marie says, at least you've got the soap thing down. Oh, do I need I've to... I've got the soap thing down. Do I need to share the link for the soap? You yes, see? share the link for my Etsy store, guys. So do you guys want to go up to the mountains and over the weekend and just stay there and you know, there. chill? You think Dad and I should go to the mountains for no, the weekend and, and chill? Are, no, I thought about that because me and Dad are going hiking. It would just be easier. Oh, the Instant Pot is beeping. Okay, guys, there's my lemon poppy seed. Smells super good. Quickly release. You saw Mike's eyes light up. Oh man, that smells so good. I'm going to give this that to one got Dave my for really his fast. hair because um, smell it again? to try for man, um, smells, oily hair. It doesn't oh. smell like a lemon poppy seed muffin. It smells Can I do it? Like stronger a, no. in a really fresh. good way. Oh. Yeah, like a fresh one. Okay, so let me get this out of the something that the smell reminds me of. Like maybe a lemon pie or something? Oh yeah, it does smell like lemon pie. It's going to burn. Mary says, I totally sympathize with you, Tara. We all have days like this. Uh, well, I thought the freezer was going to come like at 8 o'clock in the morning. Sharon says, you mean this isn't a comedy show? <laughs> we found out it was because people told us that in the chat. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay. Now, let me get my mess cleaned up here, and then we'll see what we got to do with this puppy. And then Dave the Warrior is going to... Right. Okay, let's see what we can do with this. <coughs> wow, allergies. Yeah, I feel like I'm having an out-of-body experience. <laughs> 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 kind of like, is this really me, and am I really doing this? <laughs> okay, here we go. So, wait a minute. Uh, Rhonda's asking, where did you get the soap mold and cutter? Okay, the soap, which soap mold? My wonderful wooden one over here that I love Darryl? is Daryl's from Two Family Homestead. Put your link in there, Sherry or Daryl, who's ever on. Two Family Homestead. Love it, love it, love it. My silicone one I got from Essential Depot. Love it, love it, love it, love it. This one I use for smaller batches. This one I use for bigger batches. So it just depends on what I'm using it for. There is, Mike can get you an what? affiliate link for that. Stop. Mike can get you an affiliate link for that. I want to put a towel on it over it so it doesn't spew chicken juice all for, over the house. Oh, true. That's a big issue. For the Okay, here we go. Go ahead, Dave. Affiliate oh, link for. So I'm sharing the link right now for the two family Did wooden soap mold. Twist everything? Yep. And. Is that twisting? <laughs> It yeah. <laughs> looks like it's on fire when you do it that way. So let's see. You need that. And the other soap mold Mom, is. Why do you put a towel over it so the steam doesn't spew chicken juice all over the house? That's my thing, guys. Doesn't this spew like whatever juice is in there all over Man, the place? That smells good. I'm wondering if it did a good job. That's what I'm wondering. If it spews juice all over the place. Like, you know, when it does the steaming thing, it's like got water coming out. So this this basket. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> what happened? Now I have stuff falling on me. <laughs> uh. So Tara is a little bit more jumpy because of her sickness, right? <sighs> like like that is because of the CFS, right? No? 
Sorry. I think it's stress. I see. But everyone says you're handling this so well. Is she though? Oops, except this is All right, good. guys. Don't forget, July 1st, Bandana Grandma is going to be here in Colorado. She came just to see us, and we are doing a meetup July 1st. We are so excited. I can hardly wait two weeks. Yay. Two weeks. Actually, some people were talking about that. So if you guys want to come, please come. My assistant, Heidi, is going to come. Gina, my other assistant, who lives here in town, I sort of forgot to tell her about it. And yesterday I was like, oh yeah, we're having a meetup in two weeks. So is she going to come? I don't know. I got give. I haven't given her the details yet. She's been on the soap show a lot if you've seen the soap yeah. show. Okay, so I think something's done. Let's push cancel. It smells good. I have to say, I'm feeling a little stressed right now. <laughs> That's good, I think. <coughs> All right, so Dave, can you see in here? Is this what it's supposed to look I like? I cannot see it in there. It looks squishy. Wait, can you push it towards? Push it towards More towards the camera. camera? Yeah, I can't see anything. No, it doesn't spew juice. Okay, so Patty said that you can save this juice so okay, I don't understand how it can't be spewing juice when I physically see water coming out of it. Well, it's going... <laughs> and Tara was wondering if that's just... Because it, it would seem if like it would be... If it's in the chicken juice and the chicken juice is steam and that yeah. is squirting out of it, isn't that squirting chicken roller juice all over ride. your kitchen? I don't know. Maybe We're on maybe. a roller coaster ride, guys. That's what it looks like. Here, hold on. Okay, so let's see. <clears throat> Here we go. Ooh, I think it's cooked. Okay, that's good. That looks good. That looks good. Okay, so now you can come back up, Dave. So now Patty said to drain the liquid off and save it for something else. All right, let's try that now. I'm a little concerned to try these things. Uh, can I try that? And that says no, just steam. And lots of people, but lots of people do use a towel. But if you're actually seeing water droplets coming out, wouldn't it be mixed in with the steam? Mm, 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 mm. Guys, am I the only one who's thinking this here? To me, it's like, makes sense, but... Oops. Okay, oh man, almost poured boiling water all over Mike. That would have not been good. <coughs> ah, that's hot! Ow! Well, I did say be careful not to <laughs> the hot part. Watch for the heat. I don't oh, sorry, Mary. I, I just saw this. your comment, and they've already done it. Sorry, I'm a little behind on the Facebook. Okay, let's see. How can you drain the chicken without burning yourself? Wait, hold on, wait. Like that. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, don't drop any of the chicken. Can I use this? Okay. Yeah, but I can't. Careful not to burn yourself. Oh, my goodness. Woo! Sean Brock. That was a big rating. <laughs> Do you want me to come do that? Okay. This is not going very well. <laughs> Everyone's loving you, dear. Oh, you. Okay. They're saying you're making them feel better. Like, not be, not not from doing something strange, but just from wow. being, oh. from being know, awesome. Yeah, I probably need milk because I'm actually. Okay. What's that, Mom? What's that? This is oil. Can I have some chicken? <clears throat> okay, just a second. All right, what do I do now? Saute. All right, let's try and saute this. Oh my. Adding a little bit of oil. Yeah, a lot of people saying it's just steam. That just doesn't make sense though. What we could do is collect it and then we could lick it and see if it tastes like something. <laughs> Good catch on the popsicle mold. Okay, so I'm adding some salt and some onion powder. Guys, Shannon I'm wants, not so sure about <clears throat> this. Here you go. Shannon wants Pretty to know, good. do they need to send an email if they want to come to the meetup? 
No, but if you'll go, you don't need to send an email, but if you could go to the post that we have on our website and just comment, say you're coming, so we can get a count of about how many people we're expecting. Um, just so I can have drinks Something and stuff. Something smells good suddenly. No stiff drinks, but... <laughs> Okay, so now I have added some oil, and I'm going to try and brown this just a little bit, maybe. I don't know. I guess I should have browned it before. Oops. Well, yesterday it wasn't browned. Oh, well, I think if you shred it, it might be all right. Mike likes <clears> his <throat> chicken browned. He doesn't like it all smushy boiled. So, want him to be able to eat it. Everyone was telling Jack to stay Oops. away from the mother of the hot pan. Okay. That's your heart, just breathe. <laughs> breathe. You're just doing great. Breathe. <laughs> Thank you, Tanya. Okay, so I'm pouring out my lemon juice, or my pineapple juice. Mother, yeah. I'm adding my cornstarch. Take a drink. Yeah. A lot yeah, of people what? Are warning about Jack staying away. From the pot. Yeah, Jack needs to stay away from this one. <clears throat> He's too busy freaking out with the light. Okay, here. so I'm mixing my cornstarch in my pineapple sauce, or my pineapple juice. All right, here we go. I smell something that smells good. It smells good? Oh, Jack said he smells something that smells good. So mm -hmm. Jack doesn't want us to move to Minnesota, Dad. No. But while you were out there and we discovered that I had accidentally ordered two freezers of <clears throat> two freezers and neither one was the right one, I discussed that I think we need to move to Minnesota so we can be near Heidi. So she can And she can just follow me around all day and take care of these little details for me. What do you think? <laughs> like ordering a new freezer. <laughs> Okay, let's see if we can brown this a little bit. It is a little on the you're doing great you know, just, pale side. You're doing great. Just next time use a strainer to drain the liquid. Yeah, but this thing is hot and the steam was coming up. So I guess you gotta like let it cool down before you drain it. I don't know. I need <coughs> to ask Patty. I think Patty needs to come out here for 10 days. Jack didn't even flinch when you burned yourself. <laughs> He's seen it happen before. Sadly. Patty needs to come out here for 10 days and let's do 10 days of instant pot cooking with Tara. Huh? Who oh, wants that'd be to awesome. do that? I'm sure you okay. get other volunteers too. Oh, it's tender. It does actually taste good. Um, Sharon, she usually cooks it on the stove and it is pretty fast on the stove, but she's been trying to see since It a lot takes of people, me like 15 minutes on the she's stove. She's trying to. Because since everyone says they love their Instant Pots and that they're easy, she's trying to figure out how to get to that point. Okay, it actually is tasty. Mm. Oh, man, that's really it's good. It's actually very good. That's really good. Okay, okay, hold on. Let me get Jack a piece. Hold on. Oh, man, that's good. So we didn't make any sweet and sour sauce, right? So no, I'm getting ready to do it. Okay, so okay. I got my pineapple juice and my cornstarch mixed in here. I'm trying to get my chicken brown. Oh, by the way, what's funny is, if those of you who saw the show on Monday, Tara was, you know, seeming to be struggling with the Instant Pot that day too, but right at the end of the show, it was awesome. It tasted really good. It wasn't what, it was different consistency than what we cook on the stove. Well, that's hot. Because it's well, more I'm moist good. here and more kind of browned over there, but it was really, really good. Oh man, that's good. Kind of sticking on the bottom, even with oil. Willow's, Willow says Tara is trying to love and embrace that the new Instant Pot. That tastes amazing. It okay. tastes amazing? How's everything looking? Is it good? We're getting lots of comments. Okay, so I'm having a hard time getting it browned afterwards. I don't know. Well, you probably need to How long it. can you let this go? 400 people watching on YouTube. 400 people? Oh, Martha asks, do you have a browner button? She says, I have one on mine. No, just saute. Just saute. So you had a bit, the, the one we had before was bigger, right? No. Was it, it the, was same, the size? same size? Hmm. Okay, well. So Ellie got herself a new car. 
day before yes on Monday's show, she came home with a new convertible. A 1990 convertible, and they had to drive clear to South Denver, which is like 45 minutes to an hour away from us, to go get it. And they tried to go yesterday to get the title, and it was like an hour and a half wait, and she, they had to go to work. So then, her and BJ. So then, um, this morning, her and I get up, and we leave at 7.15 to go get in line at 7.30, because they open at 8, and we were the first people in line. And we get there, and she says... Oh, I'm sorry. The man signed this wrong, and we can't accept the title. So now Ellie and I have to drive back down to South Denver today to get the man to sign a paper saying that that's actually him. So I was like, oh, man. Okay, now it's brownie. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, here we go. Here, take a look right there. Oh, wait. Doesn't that look lovely? Okay, this is kind of working. Okay. <laughs> you figured it out. Well, I thought this thing was for the moisture. There you go. It is. It's Cause... supposed to keep it moist. <laughs> but ah, that is really hot. Oh yeah, it's. Okay, it's starting to brown. It's starting to brown. You give me a few of those, if you don't mind. Wait, which recipe is this? Sweet and sour chicken. Ew. Dining on a dime cookbook. Ew. Right here, the best cookbook so, ever, don't you agree? A... So I keep sharing the sweet and sour chicken recipe, but that one is, is the instructions on there are not for the instant pot, and I'm sharing this mostly because of the sauce. Yes, so what I'm doing is trying it in the instant pot with my dining on a dime cookbook sauce. Okay, so she's just this shredding is working. It out of here. Look yeah. at that. Brown. Wow. Mm -hmm. It's brown. Mmm. It's really hot, but it's Is it good. good? Mike okay. loves brown. <laughs> That's why Mike doesn't like the crock pot that much. Cause yeah. Because crock pot's more soupy on most things. Yeah. Although, on the crock pot roast, woo, you have an awesome roast. Okay, we got the next one coming for his portion here. <laughs> Amazing! Okay, Jamie says, go. if you want to go to Arvada, one of you could drive my truck home. It's all fixed and waiting for me. Just oh, so, seriously? She said she said just don't have enough drivers. Uh, well, I don't know. We maybe could. I don't know. I could see where it's it's superior. So I don't know where superior is to Arvada, but look it up, Jamie, and I could maybe do that for you. Um, okay, Dave. Hand me the leftover chicken from last night and let's throw it in here and see if we can get some vegetables in. Hmm. What chicken? There's some vegetable I peppers. No. Stuff, no. <laughs> see the pukey looking stuff? It's in a red con red topped container, you know, the small, short, square yeah, one. Like yeah. Okay, so this is last night's dinner that didn't work out, so I'm going to throw that in there. The funny thing is, the one from last night was great. Okay. See if we can save this from last night. Alice, uh, Alice says, Ellie deserves it all. Your kids are great kids. Yeah, she did pay for it with her own money. She got the most amazing She jar. got a good deal. Yeah. Christy says, the four of you cooking together is a hoot. Would love to see that. Which four of us? Okay. Got... So I got celery peppers and last night's leftover chicken. Here is my pineapple juice and cornstarch. Okay, here's my ketchup. Okay. Here's some pineapple. We can get this out. All right, and then my brown sugar. How much brown sugar? Okay, and then my vinegar. We got my vinegar. Um, here it is. Okay, this is my sweet and sour sauce on page 315 in Dining on a Dime. Okay. All right, now let's get this all stirred up. Hmm, it's burning on the bottom again. Stir it. Hmm. 
Hmm. I'm going to add a little bit of water to try and get a little saucier. Saucier, all right. <laughs> Do you have any more sweet and sour chicken? Oh, did you dump out all the broth? Somebody said you uh -huh. dumped all the broth. But oh, I could put might, some broth in. So it might burn. No, where'd the broth go? Here. Margaret says that would be awesome. Tara Petty would be a great teacher. <gasps> MK Lone Star, you can move to Corpus Christi with us and I would be your assistant. I would love to go to Corpus Christi. I love it there. Okay. Or at least I did. Get me a bowl Been there for a long time. Oh, wait, here, we'll just use this one. Okay, let's see. Alice is asking, is it me? It seems your traditional recipe seems easier. Don't care, love everything you, you do, no matter how you do it. Oops, it's a lot easier. What the people that are loving it, or the Instant Pot say, is they love being able to walk away and not pay attention to it <clears throat> and have it do its thing. But how do you do that when you have to add cornstarch and all that stuff? Well, it does seem to require prep before you I just walk it. away from my normal dinners and... <laughs> I know, but that's why the fire department has your number on speed though. No, other way around. I have the fire department's number on speed Yes. Though. They're like, oh yeah, her again. <laughs> Aww, <laughs> Just kidding. It's all mushy now. I saw a little cartoon today where the kid was praying <clears throat> for mom's. Try praying. it, sweet and sour. Was praying and saying something about um, raising up the burnt, the burnt offerings mom has made for our dinner to you. <laughs> I love your shows and just bought your book is my payday treat. Thank Yay! you, Katriona. Thank, thank you guys for buying it in spite of myself. <laughs> well, that's why you wrote the book, right? Uh, she was hoping okay. if she wrote the instructions, she would remember them. <laughs> I was just kidding. I was Hmm. Uh, Jamie says Superior is west of Arvada. She wouldn't make you do that. It's too far. Oh, man. It's pretty good. That is really good. Mm -hmm. Although, what's funny is, mm -hmm. even though it's, it tastes amazing as sweet and sour chicken, I liked it just as the chicken. Yeah. That's pretty good. Lisa wants to know, did you put soy sauce in it? I didn't because I don't like soy sauce. Jenny says, yay, dinner is done. Yay. Have mercy. I feel like a plane that just landed with no landing gear. <laughs> Okay. And then slid into now, the water. Now, any questions? <laughs> oh, well, we have a birthday. What the blank are you doing, lady? <laughs> hmm. uh, yeah, the, oh, did the guy want to come in? He said something about wanting to be on the cooking show. Oh, did he? <laughs> yes. He uh, was a fun driver. I can't believe he was doing this for eight years because he uh, looks so young. Alice says, Tara, you're amazing. Go, Tara, go. What I think is funny, now, for those of you who watch the whole show, you have to give her credit. From the beginning, it just looked like this was going to be a complete, utter disaster, like the movie where there's just this thing that leads to this thing and this thing. And somehow, it's like the Olympics where she's turning and twisting and then, boom, lands right on her feet. Ten, 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 all the way across. I have to say, dear, that's pretty impressive. I'm not that impressive. <laughs> And I think maybe I'm kind of glad in some ways. <laughs> you have your impressive ways oh. in other ways. They were saying you should turn it off so it doesn't burn. Oh, it wasn't quite cooked yet. Oh, you're just keeping I, it warm? I was just keeping it warm. Or no, wait. Oh, wait. There is a keep warm function. What? Keep warm. Nice. There, maybe that'll work. Mrs. R wants to know where your unique name spelling comes from. Uh, My dad just added an R to... Tara. Although, come to find out, I like... So every few months, I search my name on Google and, and our name, and I search Living on a Dime's name to look for trademark violations and that kind of thing. Come to find out, T-A-W-R-A is a Muslim name. Hmm. I never knew that. We find so, out by Googling it. Yeah, so my dad just added an why R does, to Tara. Why does it but... say burn? <gasps> oh no, it's burning. I didn't, I didn't tell you that. It's burning! Oh, it's burning! Oh, don't you let Mike do this part. Ah! 
You've had well, enough excitement for today. Three people said in the chat, and I thought Dad said ah! something. I did, but not. that's but that's fine. Oh my. That's fine. Mom is her own person. <laughs> Do you want me to haul that off the way over there? Burn. Can you keep going out to the Do trash can? To, do I need to like scoop out of there before it burns? Okay. Oh man. Okay. Hold it on. It says burn again. Oh, it's unplugged. I unplugged it. All right. So, hmm. This it didn't end up quite as so what I was like, thinking. It looked like the food turned out great, but we should have turned it off right away. Okay. Yes, Jack? Yeah, I was just getting to refill my water and I'm like, um, why does it say burn? <laughs> oh, because mom is cooking. <laughs> okay, well. Patty's gonna say, please don't promote my Mike ebook. Mike is so calm. And Dara's like, ah! <laughs> yep, that's Daryl and me to a T. Okay. okay. It said, it said. Yes, I unplugged it and moved it out, so. There's the verdict, it. guys. But was it burned until you put the lid back on? I don't know. And and you saved it out of the pot before it actually affected the food, right? Yeah, I did. Let's see what it tastes like. Does it taste burned? I, I think, hate burned food. I think Mike should do an Instant Pot show. I'd be curious to see if it would work out or not. Yeah, but we don't have you 15 hours for you to research doing it. It doesn't need 15 hours. You have, okay, oh, it, it saved, it was saved. I have a nasty pot to clean, but that's okay, I'm used to that. Not a big deal. Wait, why are you so, used to nasty pots? Oh, because I, I'm used to burning stuff. Yeah, we're still on. Are we still on? Yeah. Jamie thought we were off. Okay. All right, guys, Hi, wow. Man. All right, do we have any final comments before? Okay. We have a birthday. We have a birthday. And an anniversary. Well, we don't have an anniversary song, but we can. They actually want us to sing to them Catherine after all this? Sa Catherine says, Saturday will be my husband and my 40th anniversary. Good Yay. for you, Catherine, for not killing him. Anita says, LOL, great show. <laughs> Yay. Actually, thank you, everyone. I appreciate that. It's kind of good when, when you tell us what it is you like about the show. <laughs> All right, so I actually look like Lucy. Well, actually, what she said was kind of cool. I don't mean this as an insult because Lucy was very attractive, and I just noticed when you make your expressions, you actually do look like her. What I notice is you do make the funniest expressions when you're not trying. Like if I say, "Here's the camera, make some expressions," then they never look real. Well, what's funny is, um... oh, I took a picture screenshot of a frustration expression when she was. Like, oh, I ordered two. What's funny is, um, <laughs> what? Yeah, keep that, we'll use it. Do what? We did an expression when um, he told you that you ordered two freezers, and I was like, what? Like, he was super frustrated and stuff. I like, have no idea that? how I ordered two freezers. I do. You added one to the cart, and you're like, oh, this one looks better. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so Wendy wants to know, does it seem burnt or too mushy? No, it, it seems doesn't. Perfect. It seems it actually does seem like it turned out, really. It does. Here, okay, here, you try it, dear, and see well, if it. Well, and I'm not sure about how long it takes to get up to speed and all that and to go through the whole process, whether that necessarily saves time. Oops. But what I have oh, noticed is, despite the fact that Tar didn't read the instructions. Dad, come here. Mm, with the help of 300 friends. <laughs> it, turn out. <laughs> it only took me and 300 friends to get this thing to work. Huh? Maxine says it cleans easily, just let it sit in water. Okay, yeah. will do. Yeah, All right, what's funny is I watched I Love Lucy. Don't play around with that thing. I Love Lucy. I watched her, but not like every day or anything. And so it's not like I watched her, you know, like every day for years and years. I think I maybe watched like one season or something, but. Um. You dive. guys are awesome and funny. We all enjoy you. <laughs> Thank you. Well done. You make me feel normal. Good grief. Everybody oh, was Darlene. married in June. Well, congratulations, Darlene. Darlene and her husband are, are having 40-year anniversary. Uh, 44 years, sorry. Donna is having a 30th wedding anniversary. Wow, that makes me... What's funny is it makes me feel like we haven't been married that long. Because it's only... Here, I thought we'd been married 95 years. 
I know, but I still love you. <laughs> oh! <laughs> uh, the pressure, the pressure. Yeah, we've been 24 years almost. So, it's good for things that take a long time to cook. Oh, okay, cool. I'm obsessed with you guys. What a great family. Thank you, I don't Drew. know. What should I cook on Monday's show in the Instant Pot, guys? I told you I would do it well, for a month. Well, there were some requests for Mike to cook in the Instant Pot. Well, so are you going to cook dinner every night? Well, not every night, but it might do a show. Well, I got to figure out how to use this thing. I know, but... All right. I just what do you want to cook? I don't know. Do you have some kind of Mexican thing you can make in there? I don't know. Because Mike is all about the Mexican. I love Mexican food. Okay. Oh, and Jeanette says made, made rights. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I could do that. You should have added some oil, then browned the chicken, then added water and pressure cooked. Maybe that's actually what um, Patty does. Although at the time you we were I'm doing that... supposed to follow the instructions? <laughs> oh, a jack sandwich. Mm. Um, is it supposed to be frozen? What? <laughs> I don't know. The computer? Oh, well, that's just this one. This one's working fine, so that means it's okay. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and I vote for Mike to try it. Go, Mike, go. <laughs> um, okay, so let's take a look here. It was mm. Wendy's birthday. Oh, man. Okay, I'm checking All to right. make sure that nobody else has any birthday coming up here. Nope, looks like just Wendy at the moment. Work right. together and figure it out. Um, we should do that. We should be a team. We're not yeah, a very good team. No, you guys are What's not. going to work? Teamwork. What kind of work? Teamwork. <laughs> Enchiladas should be really good uh, since you can also crockpot them. Hmm. Well, I just wasn't sure if would they get mushy. That's the thing I was wondering because... I always think of things as a crock pot as being mushy, mm. but maybe I'm just not doing it right. Can you tell Jack his out of computer time, Dad? Whoa. No, I'm not. <laughs> Rebecca says, no, I hear not. you could do a 15 oh. hour soup in 15 minutes. Wow. He has 59 seconds left, Mom. How well, do congratulations, you do a 15 hour soup in 15 minutes? <gasps> Yum, Luann says Salisbury steak. That's I've never awesome. got a notification. Heather says it looks awesome and it does. Hi, Vina in Canada. Okay. Um, Sue says, I was thinking of buying one. Do you think it's worth the money? I guess it depends who you ask. I don't know. We're not Patty sure Patty Alderman yet. from Alderman Farms. She loves hers. Go watch Patty at Alderman Farms yeah. on YouTube. Hey, Mom. She loves hers. I, this is my second one. I'm having issues. But Patty love, love, loves hers. She absolutely loves hers. And she makes good food. I was at her house and I ate some of her good food. Yep. So... I think it's probably pulled, user error. Pulled pork fajitas. Ooh, that sounds really good. Wait a minute. My baby recognizes Tara's voice more than more, more and more. Maybe I'm watching a little too much. Ah, <laughs> that's from Rachel. <laughs> that's funny. No, that's fine, Rachel. Ah, here, here. I'll sing him to sleep. Lullaby <laughs> and good night. Go to sleep, little baby. Lullaby. Is that actually and good night? I am begging you to sleep. Mom needs a nap too. <laughs> and if you don't go to sleep, I just may fall down and won't be able to ever get up again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, somebody's dinging our doorbell now. <laughs> Native, <laughs> Native Texan Kathleen says we celebrate our 53rd anniversary June 4th. Oh, Congratulations. wow. Congratulations. Okay. I was going to sing, but... <gasps> Look who Hello, it is! it's Gina! <laughs> Gina who we, you might be able to meet if she comes. Gina, look at dinner! To meet up that she didn't know about. Oh, no! <laughs> Come over here, Gina, for those oh people who gosh. haven't met you yet. Let me say poor, hi. Poor, Poor Gina, I she's like, okay. she's like, I just came over to say you hi. Look great. No, I didn't. I came over to read you some of these. Um, oh, Gina's colors. writing description. Look at what I just got. Hold on, scoot this way, Jack. Look what I just got. Ninety more. <laughs> no. <laughs> Which ones are we gonna use? I don't know. Maybe all of them. Oh gosh, I can't. <laughs> Gina. Okay. Gina is writing descriptions for me. So what do you think of dinner? Uh, my poor family. I'm like, what do you think of when you think of the color purple? And they're like, 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> anyway, so tell me when you guys are done tonight. Okay. And I'll, I'll, I'll just send these to you. Okay. And you can tell me I'll come over. I'll be done in just anywhere near. five minutes. Okay. okay. Wow, um, all these people are giving great suggestions. Oh, by the way, Gina's the one that I told her we're having a meetup yesterday. Oh, <laughs> two yeah. weeks. July 1st. Okay. Are you going to be around? I will. But Gina, okay. don't feel bad. I often find out about these things on the show. <laughs> that's, that's, it's real life. Yes. <laughs> it's real life. Oh, man. Okay. Who are we seeing? Yeah, I, Karen, I'm going to try one of Patty's recipes and actually follow her ebook. I'm copying. Recipe. So for all of you who are putting suggestions for what to cook in the instant pot, I am, I am uh, saving them. So okay. uh, Rebecca, no, there's not a special code for the 25% off. It's nope, automatically it's on automatic, there. and it's free shipping. 25% off, free shipping right now. So and if you're um, out of the country, it's a pretty significant discount. It's for a the discounted shipping. There shipping. Yes. So yay. <clears throat> Ooh, yum. Sheila says, make an awesome brisket in mine. <laughs> Can you do it Monday? Can you do this? Okay. Gail okay. says, you have a beautiful voice. Oh, thank you. So it's okay. Wendy. <clears throat> Is it her birthday? Yep. Okay. Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Wendy. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> I blew it all at once. I need okay. to make a new soap can, a new oh. soap uh, cupcake. Oh. Jamie's been making them for me, and I need to get one to make. Oh, get Wendy, I don't know. Wendy says, "How about making um, Puerto Rican steak and barbecue spare ribs, or, or oh. barbecue? Spare that sounds delicious." I don't know what that is, but it sounds good. Oh, it sounds awesome. Hello, I love you guys. And Barbara, please, please, please tell Drew I love him. Oh, I wonder if that's Jack. I have no. Maybe Drew is. Maybe her Drew. Oh, is, Drew is her boyfriend Drew. or somebody. Oh, Drew. Barbara loves you. <laughs> oh, is that her husband or something? I don't know. <laughs> Let's hope so. <laughs> oh, if it's not her husband and Drew is what and her husband what, that could be a problem. <laughs> I hope it is. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks please. so much. Oh, thank you for watching our chaos and Fedla. Believe me, I do not plan this ahead of time. As you know, I am not very good at planning. So, Monday, we will either have... Oh, see, now all the Home Depot freezers are coming up on our Google Ads. Because <laughs> they know. Oh, my goodness. So, guys, I'm going to share a link right now for our friends going yeah, daddy. Yeah, Sally. Who are live on YouTube right now. Tell them that... I'm <laughs> sorry that you're a little bit late, but we were a little uh. bit late. <laughs> So, uh, if you would like to have some more fun this evening, they're pretty fun. Who's on there? Going Batty. Oh, I'm sorry, Going Batty. Man, what a... They're live. Uh, oops. On, Hold on. I was here. looking at something on here for just a second. Oh, sorry. What? Uh, is it called an Insta... I don't know. Insta okay. It's called an Instapot. Uh, it is a pressure cooker, but this particular one is an Instapot. Yeah. Whatever, you know. Yeah. Yeah. The real deal. I got a garage sale for 30 bucks. The lady used it once and didn't like it, so. Sue says, go take a warm bath to relax. Well, I would, but I have to spend the next two hours driving to South Denver and back, so. Unfortunately. Wait. Oh, that's right, for Ellie's thing. Well, yeah. do you want me to drive down there? Oh, I never thought you'd offer. No, I'm not offering. I just asked if you want me to. <laughs> <laughs> Denver at rush hour is so much fun. Okay, guys, we will see you on Monday. I don't know what we're making. Tomorrow, I am going to do a, a soap show testing my new micas I got probably around 11 o'clock. I'm going to try the way things have been going. Please forgive me. But anyway, yeah, so I'm going to start testing those. Okay, guys, visit us livingonadime.com. Thank you. Say see you later. Thank you, Wendy. I did see, see you. Bye, everyone. Bye. Thanks. Bye. See you later. Bye.